I'm Norm Miller, Chairman of Interstate Batteries and uh, co-founder of I Am Second. I'm just an average Joe that has a game plan for life. I started drinking at the age of 14 and I was in going in joints, you know, like at 16 and, and stuff and uh, running around all over the place. My whole deal was, hey, what are we here for? Let's, you know, have some fun, let's kick them up and go. And so everybody else did. My dad was a big drinker and, uh, and so I just followed right in his footsteps. I started traveling the country and selling batteries and setting up distributors and troubleshooting places and training and I just was keeping life simple. I just was drinking and partying and selling batteries, traveling the country. A buddy of mine had bought a, uh, he bought a restaurant with a little bar in it, with a nice little restaurant thing and he'd been trying to get me to come by there. So I thought, well that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to work late, I'm going to go by there, I'm going to have a couple of drinks, I'm going to be home at 30, 9 o'clock. Anyway, next thing you know, one guy bought a round, I bought a round, next thing you know, it's 2.30 in the morning and I'm out on Central Expressway, stopped by the police. I'd already had two DWIs, they'd taken my driver's license, I had to go get a Tennessee driver's license so I could rent vehicles and stuff. I thought, this is it, I'm, this is bad here, I'm gonna go to jail or something, for good, you know, I mean, for a big time. So I lied and told them I'd been, I'll just move, give me a break. And what they did, one drove me home, one drove the car home. I couldn't believe it because that doesn't happen. But anyway, so I get, in, I go to, you know, get in bed 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'm all hung over the next day. I called Interstate, lied, told him I was sick. And uh, laying in bed there, I thought, wow, you know, I've lost control of my life here. When that hit me, I'll never forget it because it was like, uh, it was like a bunch of shards of glass uh, came down in, in like, and I just blurted out, God help me, I can't handle it. But at the same time, a friend started telling me about the Bible. He said, Norm, you need to read the Bible. And I said, really, why would I want to read the Bible? He said, well, it's the word of God and given to man exactly as he intended it. And I said, it is. You're going to tell me the Bible is the word of God. And I said, to me, it's an old book, a bunch of old guys a long time ago. It hadn't got anything to do with me. And uh, he said, no, it's the word of God. And I said, prove it. So I thought I'd run him off, and he came back, uh, oh, two, three days, he came back and he brought me some materials and a couple books and stuff. And so I didn't start reading the Bible. I started reading about it to see if a person with any intellect, with a brain, could actually uh, determine whether it was valid or not. And so I got into three areas that were, you know, I never thought about it. I never thought about archeology span much. Uh, but the Bible has been proven correct so often historically that archaeologists use it to go find things, not Christians or whatever, just archaeologists trying to find the past. After I proved up the Bible in my own uh, brain and heart, I started reading it. I thought, I'm going to see what this thing says about me. So I got into it and I, I, I ran across a scripture in Galatians mm -hmm. and it says the fruit of the Spirit is love, peace, and joy. And it says more, I know that now, but I didn't then. And I looked at that and I said, that's all I saw was the fruit of the Spirit is love, peace, and joy. And I said, that's what I want. So I prayed to receive Christ. If I'm going to have this life with God and all, i got to figure out what He wants me to do. So I got the Bible out. And uh, so I, I started reading it. I remember uh, the thought coming in my mind about Dallas or North Texas being my Jerusalem. And uh, you know, the scripture that says, you're to be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and all parts of the earth. And there's probably a lot of people that wouldn't go to a church, won't set foot in a church. So the next thought came in my mind was just lift me up. By am second, we went public uh, on television, radio, newspaper in Dallas, Fort Worth in December 3rd, 08. And uh, to now, understand our target was Dallas, Fort Worth, North Texas. And in six weeks, two months, excuse me, two months we were in uh, 55 countries. It just went viral. Hi, I'm Ronaldo Wynn with Game Plan for Life, and you just heard from Norm Miller, Chairman of Interstate Batteries and also co-founder of I Am Second. Like Norm, maybe you had some struggles uh, with sin and addiction, and if that is the case, go to Chapter 6, where Rabbi Zacharias talks about overcoming those struggles in sin and addiction. Or maybe also, like Norm talked about, can I even believe the Bible? 
then chapter three is for you. Josh McDowell talks about uh, that you can believe the Bible and talks about uh, the historical uh, viewpoint uh, that the Bible is very accurate. And if you have any other questions, please go to GamePlanForLife.com where you can also click on the button and receive a free Game Plan for Life book or a New Testament study Bible.